Hi friends, this is Rajesh Rai Pati, and I'm back with one of one more LOD of the top 15 LODs survive tableau. And uh, now I'm going to discuss about actual risk target. Now see here, in this, he's clearly showing what in every state, in every state. Uh, uh, before that, this is this is about coffee chain data. Okay, here it is showing uh, in every state that that is present in US. Uh, what, what is the what is the profit achieved? That did it cross the target or not? This is the difference between profit, the profit that is obtained, and the target profit, which is named as budget profit. So all these have crossed the target profit, and all these states have failed. But again, there there is a problem in here. Is here you can see that this state is in profit, but uh, there are huge sales of one pro product. There are certain products. See, these are the products. These are the products. So in in the state of Iowa, some somewhere some product, one product might be uh, 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 the sales of it might be very huge and the profit might be very huge. That overall it might be showing profit. But we also want to know how many of the products in that state. Have really crossed their target. Now this will show. See, in Iowa, the percentage of products above the target is 44.41. So 44.4 percent of the product have uh, exceeded the target. So which means, even though it is showing a huge profit, that is only because of 44.4 percent, and the others are eating into that profit. Whatever that the losses that that are created by the otherwise of the compensating and they are giving profits over that. So this is what uh, we want to say. And this is nothing but every product with their profit and their target profit. Okay. Now let's go ahead the tab to tablet and let's see how to do this. Now here first thing first thing is we need we need products which are See, looking at this thing, this uh, view, we, whatever we have here, uh, the point is we need the pro products rather than states. Even though it is showing the states, eventually it is about products because here we are again talking about products. Here we are talking about products. So even though the view uh, is mainly here, it is talking about states. The underlying value is about products. First, you get the products, and then. You get uh, which are which products are going above the target, which are pro which products are below the target, and all the product cumulatively whether they have reached the target or not. So just to understand that, see, just I'll drag the state here, and and here I'll drag my uh, product. Okay, now see, in every state you have certain products. Now, when I drag my profit in here, it is slow. Uh, I drag my profit in here. See, this is my profit. Where is my budget profit, which is my in the, in the state of California? Now, these these see this this is the target. This is the target that should be achieved, and it didn't. See, this is the target, and this product cafe cafe has exceeded the target. Whereas uh, cafe mocha, it it didn't. It haven't exceeded the target. Okay. Now we want to find we want to find which products exceeded the target and which product didn't exceed the target. So for that, I'll I'll show you the we'll we'll go with the fixed LOD. Now I just want to create the the problem is again uh, the problem again I'll just go back here the problem is uh, here you are getting these as numbers see, see the reason behind we are we going for fixed LOD or any LOD whatever see here these we are getting numbers based on the view if I remove my product and I just see the sale which is showing at the level of state again but i don't want that because i want my products to be counted for 
they should be they should be accounted for whether they are they are gaining profit or not so now i have to calculate it the at calculate it at the basis of every state and the product so that is why i'll be i'll be writing an lod to fix my sales at the level of uh, this uh, state and product level now let me write that create a calculated sheet now fixed state product uh, difference so what i want to do is see here fixed state comma product now what i want to do is sum of profit minus sum of budget budget profit which is the target profit now see this is what i want now what am i doing here now i have a fixed lod at the level of state and the product and what am i doing here i am just finding the difference if this is positive if this is greater than zero then obviously the that product has in that state in that state that product has reached the target if it is negative it hasn't reached the target okay now apply okay now i am dragging this in here i am just putting in here see this haven't reached the target whatever the negatives that you are seeing they haven't reached the target okay now i'll i'll try to get this first no that is not a big thing just remove the product and i think i'll just remove all these i'll just place state here and i'll just drag it in here and i'll just sort now these are see of all these these are the states which are above the target and these are the states which are below the target so they haven't reached the target now just to color nothing just drag this and put it in color not a big deal so this is what we have achieved in here right but now i want to achieve this part how many see here i am showing see this is showing me that this is having huge profit but how many of the products are actually contributing to that profit now just to know that to know that we already have our uh, lod here which is this fixed state product and the difference right now what i want to do is i want to know i want to know if if uh, i'll just write a, a what do i say is uh, achieved or not achieved i'm just don't uh, uh, don't mind i took time to take the title because see having see the whatever calculation field whatever you are writing here make it as meaningful as possible that is because it is this should tell you what you are actually writing so for me that is why i took a bit of time to see what what actually it should be named as okay now if i'll just drag this field here now if this is greater than zero this is the difference between profit and target profit if this is greater than zero then i want it as one else zero n okay now apply i'll just uh, i'll drag this achieved or not in here now see how many products four products in iowa have achieved the target and eight products in uh, california have achieved the target now i want a percentage of it like whatever the products that are present within the every state and of them which are the which are how many products are profitable a ratio of these will tell you what is the percentage contribution now see i'll just make this a textual thing i'll just take drag state and then i'll drag my product in here and then i will drag uh, my achieved or not now see this is saying these are achieved whatever zeros are there they are not they are that they are the ones which are which haven't been achieved now i'll just drag my product in here 
I will make it a measure which is a count distinct. Now I will just drop it in here. Okay, let it. Okay. Now I will just drop it in here. Now see, here this, I have one for every product that I have. Now I will just go into the analytics totals and add all subtotals. Now see, here out of 12 products, only 8 products were profitable. Here out of 11 products, only 6 products are profitable. Okay. I showed you this because when, when I am going to do in the next phase, this will act as our proof. Like did we do it right or not. Right. Now what do I have here in the achieved or not. I have if the if it if the difference is positive then the target is achieved if the difference is negative then the target is not achieved now i'll create another calculated field uh, i'll say percentage achieved okay now i'll drag this in here and divide it by count distinct of product okay now the error is here because here i have achieved i have dragged only a granule of it the granularity issues again so i'll just put a sum in here now both are at the same level of granularity i'll just apply okay now again see here now here if you see uh, see this doesn't make any sense right now so I'm just removing that out and I'll just hide this card now see in Iowa of whatever the profit we are getting here the difference or whatever the profit that is exceeded the target that is because of 0.444 again percentage achieved we have to convert that into percentage so I'll go to number format percent okay now see it is 44.44 percent because see i'm talking about iowa right iowa uh, it's a bit see here in iowa four products out of nine products have achieved the target now it is four by four by ten is 40 percent as it is nine it will be a little over 40 so that is why we got here 44 percent now california is 66.67 percent where is california c is above see california 8 out of 12 8 by 12 is again 3 by 4 i mean 4 uh, sorry it is 2 by 3 again 2 by 3 right 8 by 12 yeah so 2 by 3 which is 66 and i'll just take this random which is ori ori origin I don't know how it's spelled. It is 45.45 percent. Now I'll come here and I'll go for oh 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 oh. See here, five by eleven. Five by ten is 50 percent. Five by eleven is a little less than uh, 50 percent. That is why we got here. What is origin? See this. Okay, this is 45.45 percent. Okay, so here okay this is not in color so i'll go here and i'll remove this and see we got same as this without a color okay now after this what is this he also wants uh, something like this now to get that i'll go here better yeah now i'll this is nothing this is very straightforward i'll just take product here and then i'll take my say profit in here okay i'll just sort them now after sorting this i'll then take my budget profit okay and in this budget profit i'll what i'll do is i'll make this a dual axis and also uh, i don't see i'll just synchronize the axis here now the axis are synchronized now profit i'll make it as bar and uh, budget i'll make it as gaunt now see now i'll no, this is not required 
and even this I will just right click and I, I do, don't want to show this because see both sides it is the same so I don't want to show this header it is just waste of time now I will just say entire view now see this is what see of this product wise if you go for product wise in Colombia all the product haven't reached the target it's clearly saying this sorry these are the product side right? these product this product cumulatively over all the states this haven't reached the target but whereas lemon decafe these have reached the target but the contribution wise Colombia is having the highest but overall it hasn't reached the target because it is uh, selling selling high here the target is also high Whereas see here, some for something like regular, regular express or something, yeah. For this, the target is also low. Okay. So now we'll just this after that this is nothing. Just drag this in here. After that, drag this and put it in here. Now a bit of resizing and all, which we can do it very easily. Okay, friends. This is what we have achieved with uh, fixed LOD. I will be making another video which will clearly show you how to do this with include. Okay, first I am concentrating on doing at a different level than what is that is used in uh, what is shown in the top 15 LODs. They have done it with include I think. So I want to show you a different way that is I have done it fixed and uh, uh, today only I have started at the channel my my own channel in YouTube which is Raya Party which is my surname I'll be adding a certain um, number of uh, certain videos all the videos about whatever topics I find it difficult me and my sister we are both associated with it we'll be contributing a lot to Tableau and also SQL which is to the level that is needed for Tableau okay just uh, please uh, like subscribe and share and help us uh, spread this uh, spread this knowledge to the people who are actually in need and please do share to those people who really need to have an idea about everybody's